OKC Broadway just announced its new lineup uh, for the season and among the hit shows coming to our state is the Tony Award winning revival of Oklahoma. Here to tell us more about that and the entire season. We've got Elizabeth Gray joining us with OKC Broadway. Okay, very exciting. Yes, very um, exciting. We've been anticipating what's going to be coming up for the next season. And last night, you guys really made a big announcement, had a, an entire event for it. Yes, it was really fun. We hosted a great evening last, last night and had some talent, had a few folks fly in from New York to give us some sneak previews of the upcoming shows. And we we're really honored to have Eva Price produce of Oklahoma with us for a little Q&A session. And she was nice enough to, to loan you her I know. Tony here. Our, our Tony, That's yes. That's amazing. Okay, so obviously Oklahoma is coming. When is that going to happen? It's coming in September. So Oklahoma City is actually opening the national tour of all of Oklahoma. So it's a real big honor for Oklahoma City. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, the entire lineup, I was just looking for the, the season, spans the entire family. There's something oh, yeah. for adults or something for kids. So let's talk about some of them. Um, is Mean Girls the start of it? It does. It opens up our season in early September and then followed by Oklahoma, which will be a really fun event for us in the state. And it's a, a completely different revival. So it'll be really interesting hmm. for especially Oklahomans to now see this version compared to, you know, the, the 1940s version that they may be accustomed to. So is it more modern day then? Oh, absolutely. More modern day. They really, they stripped away all the foo-foo, all the frill. They took their time with the lyrics. They didn't change a single lyric. They didn't change a single line in the entire production. Wow. But they really just dig into the heart of what it was really like back then in statehood. When you look at the poster, it says OK with an exclamation uh -huh. mark. It, it does. I mean, it just looks different from the poster, if that gives you any idea of you know what to expect. Yeah, and Eva gave us a little sneak peek that they will be serving cornbread and chili on stage during intermission, which is what they did on Broadway. Way, That's so that'll so be really cool. fun. Okay, so we're also looking at Wicked right now, yes. which is coming. It is. It's coming for three weeks in May of 2021. So it has actually not been at the Civic Center for eight years. And I can't believe time has flown by that fast, but and we're excited to have it back. Yeah, that's that's the one I think I'm most excited about, but also Frozen, I mean. We have Frozen for two whole weeks, so that's coming in March of 2021, and it is follow, or it precedes uh, Dear Evan Hansen, which is, you know, the New York phenomenon uh, on Broadway right now, and has been for several years, 2017 Tony Award winner for Best Musical, and um, I'm wearing my Dear Evan Hansen blue today. Nice, and your Blue Man Group. Of blue. course, and Blue Man Group and Frozen. <laughs> I'm just repping all of the shows in one. That's right. For any information, for all the information on any of the upcoming shows, musicals, go to okcbroadway.com. Very excited to see the lineup, and we will be right back. Thanks for being here. Thank you.